Hey guys and welcome to my fourth PHP tutorial. Um, I'm Rascal999 and I shall be covering um, some more authentication techniques for logging into a website. Um, I'm going to assume you've seen my previous tutorials, so like my second one specifically because it kind of covers this thing um, but without SQL. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's begin, okay? I'm going to assume you've got an SQL database up and running. Um, I'll just show you quickly what I've set up here. I've got um, I've made a database called login and a table called login. Um, I have three fields: ID, user, and pass. Um, ID is unique or auto incrementing, and uh, user and pass is pretty obvious. You know, it's a string. Okay. All right. So now I've done that. Okay. Um, this code here is basically um, the setup. This is the shell kind of thing. If you know. If you want to um, this is basically this, okay. Um, providing you, okay. So when this is all set up, you know we can move on to the PHP. Um, the first thing PHP is going to have to do is um, capture or encapsulate the data that's been entered into the um, username and password fields, okay. So just let me assign these variables to whatever. Sorry. Okay. Um, all right. So as you can see, post user is basically um, the data that's been entered into the username field. Okay. Same with password, but with different variables. Um, I don't have to keep calling post user. Okay. Or post. Uh, sorry. Post pass. So um, what I'm going to do is um, assign it to a variable which is shorter and faster and easier to write. You know. So once I've done you know, done all that. Um, once I've done that, um, the second thing we need to do is determine whether the, the user has just visited the page or is trying to log in. Okay. So to do that, what I've decided to do is um, when you uh, click on the button to log in, so when you click go, um, it will redirect you to the same page but with a different URL. Okay. It will include the question mark login equals yes bit. Okay. Um, basically. Um, <clears throat> if you just go to index.php, the code that precedes this if statement won't get executed. Okay. All right. So once you've done that, MySQL connect um, one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot four, and this is that's the uh, SQL server address. Okay. That's the password. Uh, username. Sorry. And that's the password. Okay. This is the password bit here. Okay. <coughs> because I don't have a password assigned to um, the test account, you know, I'll leave that blank. Alright, all right, so now we've connected the database, we need to select a database. Um, in this case, it's going to be login, as I've explained earlier. Okay. You don't have to make it login for anything you want, but I've used login for, you know, whatever. It's just what I'm going to be doing. Okay. <coughs> so now that you've selected the database, um, you need to query the database. Okay. So. In this case, we're going to do get. Get becomes MySQL query. Um, select count ID. So select the ID. Select all the ID fields where. Sorry. Select all the ID. Select all the ID fields from the login table where user equals uh, user and pass equals pass. Okay. I notice I've used the single quotes. Um, I don't think they're compulsory, but I've decided to use them anyway. Um, once you've done that, um, basically the get now becomes um, this SQL query. Um, if you don't know what this is, uh, if you don't know what the SQL queries are, please go to um, my website, and I shall clarify them there. Um, or alternatively, go to w3schools.com/php and go to the uh, MySQL section. Okay. All right. So now that um, now that the database has now that you've um, now that a variable has been assigned to the number of um, records that have a username of user and a password of pass, um, we need to result it. Okay. Okay. Wait a second. Um, result get zero. Okay. okay um, Okay, so if if there is one record, so let's say there's one record, user types in a password of um, pass and user of pass, uh, a test, sorry, um, and it appears in the database, 
then um, count ID will become 1, okay? Um, you need to do the following line here. Um, so result becomes MySQL result get, which is this. So basically result becomes 1. Um, or if um, the database finds nothing, then result becomes 0, okay? So it's get or 0, basically, okay? Um, now that you've done that, um, we need to do an if statement which um, determines um, whether or not there is a result. Okay. In this case, it's going to in this case it's going to be if result does not equal one. So if there is if there's more than one result, there are no results. Then echo login failure. Okay. We don't want we don't want multiple users. You know, if there if there's multiple if there's, not, if there's multiple users with the same passwords, blah blah blah, blah then you fucked up the database. Okay. You need to start again. Rewrite your registration form, whatever. Okay. Um, okay. So if result doesn't equal one, then echo failure. Else, so if result does equal one, else do the following code. Okay. Echo login success. So the user knows that they've entered correct details. And make session user equal user. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so now we've done that. Um, okay, so now that um sorry, let's go back a bit, let's go back so um now that um because the database has um done all it needs to do, because uh, if you connect to the database up here, you've determined whether or not there's any uh, records with um, username and password, you don't need to do anything else, okay? You don't need to do anything else with the database, so you can close the connection, okay? So close, con, there you go. There's there's no there's no longer communication between the client and the SQL database, alright? Or in this case, you know, the script, okay? Alright, so now you've done that, and that should all work. Um, last thing to do is obviously close that off, save, and upload. Okay, so we've uploaded that. If we refresh this page, nothing's changed. But if we enter some details, so for example, test password, you know, which is this field here, um, if you do go, don't remember passwords. Login success. Okay, it's worked. All right. Um, let's enter something stupid. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So there's no there's no such thing as admin. So let's try admin pass login failure. Okay. Basically, um, that means it didn't work. <laughs> okay. So there's no there's obviously no field there with admin and you know whatever. All right. Um, let's try username test and password pi. Okay. <laughs> Um, username test password pi login failure. Okay, that didn't work because the code, the SQL code here specifically states that it wants it, it will only select records where user equals user and and pass equals pass. Okay, if it was or, if the and was or, then it would work. Okay, you know, test and pi would work, but it doesn't. Okay, so forget about that. Right? Alright, so yeah, basically that's all. Uh, that's all I've really got time to do. Um, if you want to find out more SQL, you know, if you want to find out some more PHP or see my other tutorials, please visit my website rascal99.co.uk, and it will link you. And uh, yeah, I hope all goes well for you. Okay, um, my next tutorial shall probably cover some shit about um, uh, the session, the session ID stuff I've been doing down here. Okay. Um, basically, um, locking success session. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain another story. Okay, but if you know, if you know, if you know what this is, then great. If you don't, don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna. My next tutorial shall cover um, session um, session stuff. Okay, but yeah, basically, don't, don't worry about it. All right, so yeah, I'm Rascal 99. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, and yeah, oh, I shall be releasing something else soon. I hope. <laughs> bye bye.